peace and security in Abia. With the spate of insecurity and crimes across the country, Abia remains the most peaceful and secure as of today, thereby making the state the destination of choice. I think uh, statistics uh, will tell you the truth. The Nigeria police publishes statistics about uh, uh, safety profile of states and in fact the international community, the diplomatic corps, all have uh, states on their red alert, those on yellow and those on green. And um, uh, since 2015, to the glory of God, um, we have managed to uh, remain one of the safest states, um, not only in the south, but in this country. We want Abia State to be one of the safest states, as it is now, it's one of the safest states. To the glory of God, Abia is safe. The, the policing style that uh, we put in place and the impact of synergy with other sister agencies like the Army, DSS, and uh, other security agencies are leading the expected results. So, uh, Abia as a state is peaceful, generally, and uh, very good for habitation and uh, conducive for business. Our governor, Dr. Okezue Victor Ibaz, BAZ, but as governor of this state, everywhere the okay. Like other places, I don't know, 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 since all this one, we have such story. In terms of the Abia state here, in, in, in particular, Eba is one of the safest states in the whole Nigeria. A place in where they keep their normal business, everybody is doing his business. So, when we have problem in Abia state, Abia state is a safer place in where they keep their business again. Guy, your normal business is no disturbance. This is no mean feat for a state, considered one of the worst as kidnapping, armed robbery, and serious criminals roamed free. So, what changed? What did Governor Ikbazu do differently? To the glory of God, I keep saying this, between 2015 and now, not even a single case of bank robberies. It can only be God. But there are a few things which we have done. One, logistics. We have provided over 400 vehicles, all of them equipped with modern technology. Two, we provided military standard base stations for the first time that I can, the CP can listen to his officers in the most remote part of our state. Yeah, when I came, I made structures on ground. I meant things on ground done by the government. But at the, towards the end of 2020, you know, we were struck uh, with this issue of uh, answers. That one really gear everybody up. If you go to every station now, you will see uh, observation points in front of every station. It's not just there, it, it, it's for a purpose. So you can observe everything coming from afar. That was an initiative that ENS has brought. Because you know, before we were not thinking that you can come and anybody can come and just attack you. Uh, all of a sudden. But if you are in, in that OP, you can be seen afar. He provided finance to put on ground those observation points, which are very useful now. Um, he has um, been very instrumental, you know, um, to the um, safety and security of the state you know, in area of provision of um, 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 gadgets um, that police use for the operations. Apart from gadgets, he has provided vehicles and um, he has uh, provided the environment, you know, importantly for uh, the police in the state to be able to function well. Gadgets uh, that police use for the operations, apart from gadgets, he has provided vehicles and uh, he has uh, provided the environment, you know, importantly for uh, the police in the state to be able to function well. And therefore, officially commissioned these vehicles and hand over the keys to ITC for onward transmission to the Nigeria Police Force at their state command, in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will hand over the keys to the commissioners of, uh, commissioner of police at their state with the instruction that the vehicles must be maintained and be kept in order and must be serviceable and God's Thank you very much. He gave us vehicles 
He gave us vehicles 2020 and gave us vehicles 2021. Three, we forged a synergy, an uncommon synergy between all the sister agencies. There is no rival. Joint operations for us in Abia is commonplace. At times, we used to mount joint patrol with even immigration. The security architecture in Nigeria provides for collaboration. I know and have been briefed of the synergy that he has ensured among the services in the state. And uh, they work together as a unit, as an inseparable unit. And that one has really helped, you know, in uh, the safety and security of the state. In terms of security, I can say that there's no state that is uh, free in terms of security. But if you come to Abia, Abia should rank among the safest state in Nigeria. I don't live here really, but so far, since my school in here in Umwa here, I school at Michael Opaya, the security has been safe thanks to Governor Okeze Bazu, who has actually secured the lives of almost everybody. See us moving freely without fear of anybody collecting our phones normally. So, so far, so good. Everywhere is secure, everywhere is safe. The security is nice. And you can also see that too from here. There was all that place having fracas. In either state, it's not like that. Let me say the truth. In United States, we can see other states fighting, doing the killing, 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 but it's not other state like that. I feel that uh, other state is calm. Yeah, we are safe because what we are hearing in other states is too difficult, conflicts all over the, so many parts of the states. But we thank God here in Nabia states, even though my are here, we are safe. Um, Abia is a peaceful place. We don't have any, we don't have any problem here in Abia state. You can come in, you can invest, and do your business and go around wherever you want to go. There's no any problem. Abia is safe. I will open up business in Abia based on the fact that we don't have security challenges like it happens in other states. Governor Kizi Pazan has done a lot in terms of security. He has uh, donated vehicles, uh, gadgets to security agencies like the police, the army, and all whatnot. I will encourage the governor to continue, you know, protecting lives and properties. Continue doing what he's doing in terms of security that has been making Abia security free. Um, I want to give a very big thank you to the governor, Governor Okezie Ipazu, who has actually been so good during his regime and still on, on seat still. So thank you so much from all of us to him. Thank you. Thanks to the rebuilder, Governor Ipazu. Today, Abia remains one of the most peaceful states in Nigeria. Project 035.